Penny is caring for her baby when there is a hammering at the door. She answers and encounters a wild-looking woman who is bleeding. Penny tells her to come inside and instructs her to lie down. She can't find the phone to call the doctor, and as she searches for it, the woman stands and pulls something out from under her dress. Penny turns to find that the woman has gone, but she has left a bloody child's body on her couch. She searches for the woman who is now in Penny's nursery. Penny hammers on the door to get in and finds the wild woman standing over the crib. Penny begs her to leave the child, and the woman runs at her, but Penny wakes. It was a dream. Her partner, Alex, fetches her a glass of water, and we can see that Penny is pregnant. Some time later, Alex and Penny are out with their friends, Michael and Johanna. They discuss the fact that Alex and Penny plan to move to the country to raise their family. Johanna leaves the bar with Penny when suddenly Penny goes into labor. Johanna is unable to contact either of their husbands, and Alex misses the birth. Over time, the family adjusts to their new life, learning to deal with their new son, who they name Tanner. Alex is a musician, and whilst composing, he receives a call from Penny, who tells him that she has almost closed a deal with a realtor. They go to see a house in the country. The first impression is that it is a little dreary, but Penny believes it has potential. They take Tanner and walk around the grounds. Alex finds an old barbecue at the back, and as he opens it, they are shocked to discover a half-burnt doll beneath the lid. Alex throws the doll in the trash. Some time later, the removal truck arrives and they move in. Alex notices the removal men are not being careful with his piano, and so he rushes across to supervise and opens the garage door. He is horrified to find that the garage is still full of clutter. The removal guys refuse to help, and so Alex clears an area to fit the piano. Penny takes the baby upstairs. She puts him down and joins Alex in the garage. As she leaves, Alex notices a cupboard which contains the burnt doll. He falls back in surprise and manages to damage the piano, which makes him really angry. Later, the two parents are setting up the baby monitor system. As Alex adjusts the camera, Penny notices a figure on the screen. She rushes into the nursery, but convinces herself that it was just a trick of the light. The following morning, they are both awoken by a noise from outside. They investigate and are annoyed to find that there is a construction site nearby. Some time later, Alex is playing the piano when Penny appears, stating that she needs help with the baby. She asks him to bathe Tanner while she has a lie down. He has to do the dishes first and lays the baby down next to the sink while he does this. As he glances up, he can see a figure outside. He stares at it, transfixed, and doesn't notice that a sharp knife has fallen into the waste disposal. It rattles around as Alex continues to stare. Tanner reaches out for it, but just in time, Alex regains his awareness and takes the knife from the baby's reach. As he looks up again, the figure has gone. Alex then starts to fill the sink with water as Penny returns with a blanket for Tanner. She dips her hand in the water and screams in pain as the water is boiling. She scolds her husband for not checking the water, although he claims that he did. She picks up the baby, exclaiming that if she hadn't come in, who knows what might have happened. She complains that she cannot leave him alone with the baby for one minute, but also cannot do everything herself. The construction continues, and Penny is exhausted. She puts Tanner on the bed with his bear and goes across to her dressing table. In the mirror, she can see the burnt doll laying next to Tanner, and then a figure sweeps by and takes the doll. Penny turns around, but there is nothing there. She picks up her son and sinks to the floor in the corner of the room. Alex arrives and asks what is up. He tries to take Tanner, but Penny gets up and walks off with him. She tells Alex that she thinks she saw someone in the house. They then try to convince themselves that they are both tired and are just hallucinating. In the basement, Alex studies some old photographs and notices the wild woman who seems to appear in all of them. As he looks closer, the woman shouts at him to get out, and he wakes with a start. That night, Alex gets up to deal with the crying baby. He looks at the monitor, but cannot see it. He tries to raise Penny, who he thinks is sleeping next to him, but suddenly he sees his wife through the baby monitor, holding Tanner. He looks back around to find that the wild woman is laying in his bed. He runs from the room and bumps into Penny. They both return to the room, and he convinces himself that it was just a nightmare. 
The following day, Penny is decorating the nursery. She isn't happy with her work and hits the wall in frustration. She sits down and starts to doze off. Tanner is wheeled from the nursery while she naps. Alex receives a call from Michael, who asks to visit. As he talks, Alex hallucinates again and almost knocks Tanner down the stairs. He is rescued at the last moment by Penny, who rushes to collect him. She yells at Alex, but they get into an argument as he asks why she put him at the top of the stairs. Later, Alex leaves the house to get some groceries. He uses the remote to lower the garage door, but it gets stuck. He sees a figure behind the door and tries to raise it again. The figure is the wild woman holding the burnt doll. He is snapped from his trance by the arrival of Penny, who asks him what is wrong. She gives him the grocery list. At the store, a cashier named Nancy asks Alex if he is okay. He tells her about the new baby and asks if she will babysit, to which she agrees. On Saturday, Alex and Penny get an early night whilst Nancy watches Tanner. Later that night, a figure appears at the top of the stairs who Nancy assumes is Penny. She picks up Tanner to give to her, but the figure vanishes. Nancy takes the baby upstairs and puts him down in the crib. Returning to the kitchen, she hears a dripping noise and checks under the sink. She sees the wild woman looking back and cries out, falling back and hitting her head. The wild woman stands over her, and although she screams, Alex and Penny do not wake. In the morning, Alex and Penny wake fully refreshed. They hear Tanner crying, and when they check, they find out that he has caused a mess. Penny is furious, and they go to find Nancy, but she has vanished. Suddenly, the noise from the construction starts, and Alex races outside to yell at them for making this noise on a Sunday. The foreman explains that it is Monday. Alex and Penny slept for more than 24 hours. Alex goes back inside and tries to explain to Penny, but she is still furious about Nancy. Their relationship is really suffering, and later, Penny apologizes to Tanner for the life they have made for him. As she turns, Tanner has vanished. She sees him outside with the wild woman. She hammers on the window, but Alex appears to stop her, telling her that the baby is sleeping. Tanner is still on the bed. Penny tries to tell him that there is something wrong with the house, but Alex gives her some tablets to help her sleep. She won't take them and tells Alex to keep away from her. They argue again, and Alex breaks a chair against the wall. He forces her to take the tablets. Later, Alex is playing the piano. As he looks down, his hands are covered in blood. Penny's body is on top of the piano. The body changes to that of the wild woman before it and all the blood vanishes. Meanwhile, Penny is doing the dishes. When she finishes, she walks around the house in a daze, thinking of how their life could have been had they never moved here. She returns to find that Tanner is missing. She runs around the house looking for him and tries to wake Alex. He won't wake, so she drags him to the shower to help bring him around. She hears footsteps outside and locks the door. Someone outside rattles on the door to get in as Penny yells for them to go away. As the hammering stops, Penny leaves the bathroom to search for her son. She collects a shovel and searches the garage, but only finds Nancy's corpse. Suddenly, Michael appears behind her and tries to reassure her. From behind, the wild woman climbs out of the cupboard and cries for help. Penny tells Michael that she isn't real, but the woman grabs a knife and attacks him. She then advances towards Penny, but as she tries to escape, the woman runs at her with the knife. Sometime later, Penny wakes at the bottom of the stairs. She clutches at her wounds and walks into the living room where she finds the woman nursing the burnt doll. Penny hides, but when she looks again, the woman has vanished. She hears a noise and ducks behind the couch. As she peers over the top, the wild woman appears and tries to stab Penny again. Penny manages to hit her with a lamp and overpowers her before finishing the fight with the electric cord. Penny walks down to the basement where she finds her son hidden in the laundry basket. She takes him back upstairs and sees the wild woman still laying on the floor. Alex comes downstairs and after initially mistaking Penny for an intruder, he joins his family. On the radio, there is a report of a woman who escaped from a hospital. She was being treated for shock after a fire broke out in her home and killed her eight-month-old child. The report goes on to tell of Nancy's disappearance. Police are beginning to wonder if there is a connection. 
Outside, Alex and Penny are sitting in an ambulance with their son. Over time, the family starts to begin a normal life, but will the nightmare of their ordeal ever end? What do you think about this movie? And what are your thoughts on The Wild Woman? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to watch more on Movie Shortens, click on our next videos and playlists on the screen. Thanks for watching.